Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue getting more practice with solving these single step equations using multiplication and division. The problems will get a little more complicated as we go, but as you're building your skills, you shouldn't find that they're too difficult because I'm kind of taking our time to make sure we're doing everything right. So here we have 1 third times y is equal to 2 and 1 thirds. Now this really confuses a lot of students. What do you do when you have a mixed number like that, a mixed fraction? Um, well, there's lots of ways you can handle it. What I'm going to tell you to do is convert this to an improper fraction. It's almost always easier that way. So the first step along the way is we want to rewrite this as 1 third times y um, is equal to, what do you do here? 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so that's 7 thirds. Now that is a lot going to be a lot easier to deal with, believe it or not. Now here we have uh, one third y, which you can kind of think of y as y divided by 3 is really what's going on there. Um, there's different ways to think about it, but the 3 is on the bottom, so you're basically dividing by 3. So in order to get rid of that, you want to multiply by 3. So we'll, on the left-hand side, let me rewrite the whole thing, we'll, write the left, we'll multiply the left-hand side by 3, and we'll also multiply the right-hand side by 3. And as I've been telling you, when you start seeing numbers like, in this case, you have a 3 on the top and a 3 on the bottom, because there's an implied 1 here, 3 over 1, right? 3 on the top, 3 on the bottom. You can cancel those because 3 divided by 3 is going to give you 1. On the same, same thing's going to happen on the right. 3 divided by 3 is going to give you 1. So when you see a th number in the top and a number in the bottom, just go ahead and cancel him. So on the left, all you have left is y, because this 1 here is just multiplied. So you just have y, and on the right, all you have is 7. So you found the answer. y is equal to 7. So if you were to take 7 and put it in here, what is 1 third times 7? It's going to be 7 thirds, which is what this number is. 